in the book Chicka Chicka Boom Boom, all of the letters end up in a jumble at the bottom of the coconut tree. We're going to make a piece of artwork inspired by those letters at the bottom of the coconut tree. So what we are going to do is we are going to take first the lowercase letters. You're going to choose some of your favorite letters to write nice and big on our white sheet of paper. We want to make sure that there's a lot of space between our letters. So that means that our letters are not touching, they're not overlapping, there is space between them. So if my letters are touching, that means there is no space. That is not a good marker. There is no space between them right here. They touch just barely at the bottom. We don't want our letters to be touching like you see here. We want them to have space between them. Just like my S and my T have space between them. We want to write them nice and big and we want to use at least seven or eight of our letters. So I'm not going to be able to fit all of my letters. If you remember, we have 26 letters in the alphabet. So we can't fit them all on this little half sheet of paper. I'm just going to fit as many as I can. Again, you get to choose what letters you would like to write. All right, so maybe you have an A on there. Maybe you have the letter L. Remember, these are lowercase letters letters. You might have the letter Y. You are choosing what letters you want. So I right now only have three. I'm not done because I have all this empty space. There's so much empty space, which I do want a little bit of empty space around my letters, but I don't want a ton of empty space left on my paper. So I'm going to keep going and keep choosing just a few letters to fill in all of that. I'm going to keep choosing letters to fill in all of my empty space. All right, so I have nine letters. There's a good amount of space between them. None of my letters are touching. And I made sure that they are all lowercase letters. So the letters I used were A, E, W, L, Y, J, Q, S, and N. Remember, you have 26 letters to choose from, so yours might not be the same as Ms. Latham's. Now that we have all of our letters placed on our paper, if your letters are skinny like mine, you want to just trace around them one or two times with your marker to make them nice and thick. So I'm just tracing right around my letters that I already have to make them a little thicker so that they stand out more. Now that my letters are nice and thick and black, I want to add some color to my artwork. So right now we just have black with our white in the background. I'm going to choose whatever color I want to start and I'm going to use that color to gently trace around my letter. All right, I don't want it to touch my letter. I just want it to go around my letter. So as I'm doing this, I want to trace around all of my letters again, trying not to touch it. If it touches a little bit, that is totally okay, but we're going to try our best to make sure there's space between our letter and the trace that we get around it. If you have a letter like the letter Q or A or E that I have on mine, if there is a inside space, also trace around the inside. All right, now I have traced around all of my letters one time with one color. As you can see, there's still a lot of space around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back into these empty spaces and add letters that I haven't used yet. So I don't want to use letters that are already on here. I want to add in different letters that I haven't used yet. All 
All right, as you can see, I don't really have a lot of space to add any more letters. So I added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve letters. So now I have 21 letters. I have almost all of my letters on my paper. If you wrote bigger than Miss Latham, you might not be able to add as many. But if you wrote smaller than Miss Latham, you might be able to fit all 26 letters on your sheet of paper. So just like before, we're coming back in and we are going to trace over our letters with our black to make them thicker and stand out more. So we did this in two different steps so we could make sure we had plenty of space for our outlines and make sure we have plenty of space to fit as many letters on our page without having a ton of blank empty space. If I had stopped after my first set of letters, I still had a ton of white space, which means that I have plenty more space to add more letters, which we have now done. If after this, you still have space to add more letters, that means that you need to add more letters before going on to adding the color outlines around the letters that you've already drawn. Alright, so again, I've added a second set of letters. I have traced over all of my letters to make them thicker. Now I'm going around those black letters with color. So I'm tracing around my letters again. As you notice, I use lots of different colors. You can use as many different colors as you like. You might also notice that I try to use different colors next to each other. I don't go around the B with yellow and then come right beside it and have more yellow. I want to use a different color next to it, which is what we call using variety. Variety is a way of making things different. If you finish your lowercase chicka chicka boom boom inspired artwork, then your next step will be to do an uppercase letter version of the same project. So you will get a second half sheet of paper and you're going to do the exact same steps. First, you will add some letters and then trace over them to make them thicker. Then you will outline them with colors and then fill in the empty space with more letters, as many letters as you can get on your page without them being teeny tiny or way super big. So you wanna make sure that your paper has lots of space taken up. There's not a lot of white space left over like you see on mine, but you fill up as many letters as you can.